Coming up, a review of the Airstream Atlas, a very nice upscale B+. This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. Hope you're having a really good day. In this video, I explore the 2019 Airstream Atlas, a new Class B Plus motorhome. A very nice one at that. Here are some of the specifications. Since this is a premium product, they have a lot of goodies. So I'd recommend that you pause this video to look at the specifications, the layout, and certain visual elements you find interesting. I'd also uh, seriously, seriously suggest that you uh, download their brochure if you're interested in this product from the Airstream website. Or you can pass by an Airstream dealership and ask them, hey, can I have a brochure? I'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to give you one at the Airstream dealership. This unit has very nice Alcoa rims. Those are little pricey little rims, very nice rims, and Continental tires. Something that differentiates this unit uh, from a lot of other more pedestrian Class B pluses is its beautiful skin. This has an absolutely gorgeous fiberglass shell. It's beautifully constructed, smooth, and uh, very nice. These steps are very custom. They are uh, aluminum and fold into the body. Very unique, very upscale sort of a uh, entry system for this exclusive, very nice, expensive uh, Class B+. Plus. Typically you can buy a B plus for about 80, 70, 90, 100, 150,000. This one uh, lists for over $200,000. Typically they sell for about 220. Sometimes if you're very, very nice, you can buy one for $199,000. That, but that's only if you're very nice. Here's a view from the side. I love the beautiful, absolutely glorious paint job. Let's open up some of the storage. Just push there. Gotta push it. There we go. Then twist it. And inside here they have a carpeted uh, storage area. These lights typically only go on if activated by your motion. So they're motion activated lights. They have motion activated lights on the outside and also on the inside. Here's a little storage area and right next to it is the Onan generator. Here's another storage area up front by close to the door. This is more extensive. A little cubby hole there and a larger cubby hole right there. When I was inside, I really was amazed by the interior storage. Quite a bit of interior storage. That is not a window. It's only uh, painted to look like a window. It has a nice glossy surface. On both sides of this airstrip, they do a lot of black glossy paint to make it look like it has these ginormous, gigantic windows. But this Mercedes-Benz Airstream uh, does not. It's... Uh, they just have small windows. Again, that's that glossy paint job, and you can see right there, a little, little tiny window. But it looks nice. I like it. I have no complaints. Here's storage up front. This one's rather cavernous. You can put uh, several sets of golf clubs in there, uh, fishing poles, whatever you want. The interiors of the storage area are nicely carpeted. So it'll protect what you put in there. If you put some valuables in there, they will be definitely protected. These doors close white quite nicely. This is the slide out area. So you have storage in the slide out. To the right is uh, basically your utility connections. So if you're at an RV park, uh, you can hook up your 30 amps and uh, do some uh, dumping of the black and gray tanks. So to the left is the uh, 30 amp right there in front. 
No, uh, those, <laughs> those little cubby holes are uh, motion activated. The lights are motion activated. So anytime you get close, I'll get back there in a few seconds. It'll, you'll see it brightens up right now. In a few seconds, here, you'll see it brighten up again. There it goes. The light came back on. So there's your LP fill. And the light's back on. And there's your sh outdoor shower and your water fill. This is your macerator pump for black and gray. It also has a motorized hose. Again, this is an upscale product. This is not a budget product. So this has all, I mean absolutely all, of the bells and whistles. That's the uh, exhaust for the furnace. And this, uh, the sidewalls here of this uh, slide out were pretty solid. They're very solid, not cheap, but they did not flex. Again, very high quality. This unit is designed to go down the highway and some gravel roads and some dirt roads, but definitely not anything bumpy. This is very low to the ground. I, I'm going to tell you straight, there's the Schwintek uh, slide mechanisms. This is very low to the ground and has a lot of stuff, a lot of expensive stuff underneath that you can screw up and bend and destroy like that's a little you know storage area that can get bent and destroyed if you uh, hit a hard object that's where you fill your diesel fuel this has a three liter v6 mercedes engine get some good mileage i think it's about 16 to 18 miles per gallon and there's your side view cameras. You can view that in your rear view mirror that's no longer working as a rear view mirror. It's now a digital display for those cameras. There's those bi xenon Mercedes lights and a little under that is uh, comes out a little sprayer. Sprays it with water and keeps your uh, lenses nice and clean. What a nice little profile. That should cut through the wind uh, pretty nice, huh? Here's some shots underneath the Mercedes slash Airstream. I think that's a macerator and a lot of stuff under there. I don't think those uh, tanks are insulated. But they're definitely exposed. Your water and your gray and all. Look at that tank. That's a water tank for sure. And it's definitely exposed to the elements. So you can't probably take this uh, where it's freezing or super cold. Here's your power stabilizers. Let's go up front. A couple steps here. It has a nice leatherette furniture. It was great to the touch. I really like these chairs. Again, there's nothing to complain about with this uh, Airstream Atlas. Everything is top of the line. It's the state of the art in class B pluses. I really, really like it. There's only one problem. I can't afford it. So I'm just uh, shooting this video for you folks that want to take a 4K look at this unit. Again, it's absolutely glorious. There's a spot where you can charge your phone or iPad or Android device, whatever you want. You can charge it right there. Here's a view of the head unit. It has uh, audio functions, it has uh, phone functions, it has map, it has everything. Everything you want is right here. Very, very nice. Again, I suggest you get the brochure. There's so many different things. There's uh, so many, again, bells and whistles. I tried turning on the browser, but it said, no way, Jose, this thing is not Lost connected. You cannot hmm. you connect to the internet at this time. So I'm going through the different buttons right here. If you have any comments, you can send them my way or contact the folks at VOT, that's V-O-G-T, RV in Fort Worth, Texas. I went down to their uh, showroom. They have a new indoor showroom. So if you want to go down there during the heat of the summer, it's nicely air-conditioned. Very nice. And in the winter, it's heated up, so it keeps you nice and toasty and warm. And of course, all these fantastic uh, Airstreams are well tended there. So I'm cruising through a couple uh, Airstream nests to get to the new Airstream. 
atlas. Go up these two stairs. There's that uh, flooring material and these little lights on the side all around this unit and in, the, and in the storage areas, they just go on automatically. So there's a TV lift. Uh, the TV you know, comes up out of the uh, cabinet. There's a grab handle. And uh, if you want some fresh air, you have a little screen here to keep out the critters, the bugs. All the little fellas, small critters. <laughs> I doubt a bear would be stopped by that. But you could stop a mosquito at least and a couple flies. Closes very nicely. Sometimes these uh, screens don't work very well, but this one worked. Again, A+. Plus. Look at that sofa. I like that sofa better than my living room sofa. That's how nice and plush it is. It's top of the line. And there's the Murphy bed, and there's the powered sun, you know, little skylight there. All kinds of vents and speakers. There's a close-up of one of the speakers. And here's a close-up of one of the vents. Again, I shoot this all in 4K, and it's a hobby of mine. I enjoy shooting uh, videos of RVs. I'm currently in the market for something significantly cheaper because I don't have any money. I have the money, but I'm not going to spend it on an RV at this time. I'd have to sell my house and... Uh, I do not want to do that to get one of these. My sister can afford this, just pulling out cash out of her back pocket, my brother too, but not me. Typically a lot of uh, Class Bs and Class Cs don't uh, put something here because they're afraid people are going to bump their head, but I'm apparently Airstream customers do not bang their head. Congratulations! Here's where you can control your lights. Check your tanks. Let me close this first. Again, here's where you can control your lights and you check your tanks and do stuff like that. Here you can see your fresh gray, black, and LPG. Right here's the, you control your shades, your slide out, your awning, your skylight. And here's your various lights. You just press each one if you want. And turn one on, and turn off. And there's your air conditioning and a heater. Very, very nice. Let me play with the lights for a little bit show you what I can do because I got magic fingers that's a piece of cake huh that's what you get when you pay a couple do extra dollars for an Airstream Atlas you get some goodies so if you have a lot of cash to spend or maybe just a little bit for you maybe for some of you folks out there have a lot of cash and this is just a you know, chump change for you get it I would get it I would get it in a second especially with that black interior I do not like and don't forget you can pause this video to look at the slide out mechanism in this little shelf. Uh, again, I like the black interiors. The white interior is a little too uh, easy to get dirty for me. I know you can just wipe it off, but mm, I get things dirty. I go outside in the great outdoors and collect dirt. In fact, I just went out today and when shooting this video, it surprised me how you know, just crawling under this vehicle I got dirty and crawling around the floor just to get certain shots I got quite messy. There's that TV with a little bold sound bar. Very nice. I like it. There's some storage above it. That uh, Those cabinets, the doors up there, uh, you could put fingerprints on them, but the other, that, see that brown wood, that laminate? It collects fingerprints like a champ. <laughs> I left my fingerprints all over this thing, so if the FBI is looking for me, they can go down there and check it out. And this is a picture of a homeless man, a horrible homeless man, that's me, uh, getting uglier with age, I'm now 66, and I'm going to play with the uh, mechanism that gets that TV up and down, and I approve. And if I approve, that makes the world a difference, doesn't it? So it goes down slowly but surely, and there it goes. And that's that, uh, there's a Bose uh, soundbar. I don't know if it has a subwoofer. It'd be nice if it had a subwoofer, huh? But, uh, you know, it's the profile view of the uh, TV. There's another view of the TV with that beautiful, absolutely glorious soundboard. And there's the cabinetry uh, for this Airstream. It's a laminate. So there's the storage. On the right is the TV remote. The left one is actually for the bowls. 
has more functionality on the, on the bar than on the TV. And that's your, I think that's um, your various uh, circuit breakers and stuff like that. And let me open these up. Very nice. Goes all the way across. Has a very substantial uh, hardware underneath there for the hinges and the supports. Can't complain about that, huh? Don't forget to leave your comments. You can tell me, hey, I really love this thing. Or you can say, my God, it's too expensive. Or you can say, I want one, but I can't have one. My wife won't let me. That's me, by the way. My wife won't let me have one. I love this thing. I actually love it quite a bit, especially with that black interior. And again, those white panels are, f you know, you won't get any fingerprints on that, but on the, the dark wood, that little laminate area, that collects fingerprints. Again, you're going to have to bring out your cloth and clean it practically every day. Let me go check the storage up here. Good size storage. Again, inside this uh, Airstream Atlas, 2019 Airstream Atlas, there's plenty of room. Wow, I love it. You can put quite a bit of uh, dishes and plates and whatever you want. You can put your food products up there. And there's another area where you control your lights. And this one's in the back. There's one also by the driving, you know, by the driver's seat. And again, these nice little puck lights. A little window there. This little shade goes down. Very nice. I like it. Sometimes I play with these shades and they don't cooperate. These shades cooperate. I like it when they cooperate. This countertop is like a Corian type material, but it's made by Samsung. Hmm, I never heard of the Samsung countertops. So I guess they're big in Korea. So that's a little stainless steel uh, sink. I'm not going to pull it out because I have bad experiences when I pull out the faucets. I have a problem putting them back in. There's a special way typically and I'm not smart enough to do that. So I'm going to cover up the uh, stainless steel sink. It has a nice little metal flake sort of uh, you know sheen to it. Very nice. This is a classic little two burner you know stove top. It works. It's convenient, fills in the space. I would recommend getting uh, some sort of uh, induction cooktop, a single burner induction cooktop, and plug it in. Since you have that uh, generator, and you have about 300 watts, if I remember correctly, 300 watts of solar on the roof. And you also have all kinds of great stuff in this unit. Again, I would download the brochure. And so you can check out all the great stuff this upscale premium product has. Again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six little drawers. This is just a little tip over drawer, tip out. And this one, I don't know, that's not a drawer. That's actually just a door. It goes back there and you can put some stuff back there. My wife would put liners in there. And again, I'm opening that up just to show you the construction. No dovetail joinery, just simply a nailed uh, uh, construction. But it's a high quality wood they use in their products and the laminates, of course, on the door fronts. This little uh, area comes out so you can put some uh, things you just cooked, cans or packages, whatever you want. Let me just, there's a the, uh, light coming on. Again, like I told you, the uh, motion detecting lights. So one, two, three right there, and you have a little silverware, little uh, tray there that you can move around. I'm going to move it around just to show you I can move it around. Hey, I'm moving. Amazing, huh? There you are. I love this Airstream. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you have $200,000 to spend on an Airstream? Many of us don't, but there are many of us who can afford it. There's a refrigerator. This is an AC, DC refrigerator. I give this an A+. Plus. And that's a large refrigerator. That's a good size refrigerator. And there's a fan, a gigantic fan. I don't know if it's a fantastic fan or a Max Air fan, but it's a good size fan. And I appreciate big fans. And there's your convection microwave. You can cook something in there, can't you? And let me go on the other side and open the refrigerator. Of course, I always have issues opening up refrigerators. 
Okay, I got it open. And uh, there he is. He wants to close on me. No, let's keep it cl open. Nice little metal. Metal, not plastic. Metal, uh, you know, shelves. And then you have these little, you know, containers that you can move around here and there. There's the controls. And right over here is some drawers. And this is metal again. Very nice. I like it. Solid as a rock. Not really, but it's pretty solid. And down here is the freezer. You can put your ice cream and uh, frozen food, food products, whatever you want. It goes right there. Very nice. Again, this is, I think it's a Nova Cool. Let me see what it says here. Nova Cool. Yeah, that's a high end brand. They are doing a great job with AC, DC, refrigerators. And food. Let me go inside. I guess I have to open up. <laughs> There's something on this side stopping this thing. There it is. I have to lift this up. Let me go back on the other side and close the door and show you how it looks with the door closed from this side. So, there you go. Right there. So, if you're using the bathroom, you can lock the door and say, hey, I am uh, doing, taking care of some business. Please do not bug me. What are you going to be changing in there? Who knows? Whatever you want. Let me open up this pantry area so you can put your boxes and cans of goods there. Very nice. I like it. Again, solid metal. So they're constructing these Airstreams with high quality components. And because they're not using some flimsy, flimsy, horrible, terrible materials, they can charge a little bit more from, for, you know. So there you can see the laminate, how it's constructed. Press down, and it locks. There it is. There it goes. And I'm going to press it and lock it. Let's go inside the restroom area good size restroom. Plenty of room in that restroom. There's again the flooring. I'm going to go inside and uh, check it out. To the left there's some uh, hmm, drawers. So you're gonna good size drawers. And they got the closets right here. This is a closet. Uh, you can take out that middle shelf and make it a coat closet, shirt closet, dress closet. Put your evening gowns in there, your tuxedos, or just your camping outfits, whatever you want. Since this is an upscale product, a lot of people are going to use it, their soccer moms, the soccer dads, to take their kids to the games and, and uh, during halftime or whatever, they can have a soda and a beverage here. And uh, it's, it's great. It's highly utilitarian. So you can take your kids with you, you can take your family with you, and on these short trips, just to visit grandma and grandpa or the kids or whatever you're going to do. Again, you have the two seats up front. You have the sofa with seat belts. It's very, very nice. These are good size drawers. You can put a lot of stuff in there, can't you? Very nice. Very nice. I really, really like it. I didn't try to open them in there. I figured that's just the vent, but then I could have been wrong. Again, this has in-cabinet heating. Wow. It's uh, checking all the boxes for me. I really do like uh, in-cabinet as compared to in-floor heating. And back here they have some uh, cedar lined uh, cabinet, uh, you know, closet. So you can put your stuff in there, your sweaters, your alpaca, your cashmere sweaters, just your simple wool products back there. A lot of storage. There's some plugs back here. Again, you can control your lights and you have some GFCI, you know, outlets ground fault circuit interruption. And there's your control for your suburban heater. Very nice. And there's a view of your little sink. It's not a big sink, but it's a beautiful sink. Definitely enough room to wash your hands. Or, you know, maybe have some polyester or nylon clothing that you want to hand wash. You can do it in there. There's a view of under the sink. Nicely laid out. Very nice. Plenty of room for a little garbage can. Very nice. I like those uh, aluminum accents on the outside of the sink there. Absolutely stunning. I think they're aluminum. It might be stainless steel for all I know. Again, ask your local Airstream dealer or talk to the folks at Vought RV Center. They have a new uh, Airstream building, the building that I went to visit. It's all air conditioned. Very nice. Very 
sweet little facility down there in Fort Worth. You can always give them a call. I'm pretty sure they'll be friendly and nice to you. They were friendly and nice to me, and I look like a homeless guy. They said, come on in, Jesus. You can shoot your video. I can't. They were super nice to me. That's a very nice medicine cabinet. With nice little rails there to keep your stuff from flying about. So you can put your uh, soaps in your brushes, and your toothbrush, and your toothpaste, etc. Whatever you have, you can put it all in there. Plenty of room. So let's check out this shower. Definitely a good size. There's this teak wood backing area behind the uh, back side there. All the controls. A little plastic area there. Nice little uh, wand. Extremely nice. Extremely nice. Again, I shot this video in 4K for your visual enjoyment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it, please. I would greatly appreciate your likes, subscribes, and shares. There's a close-up of the wand. And, of course, that's just some simple plastic in there. stopper. Ay, ay, ay. It's uh, not a one-piece uh, shower surround. There's several sections to it that they've caulked together. Here's another tight shot of that shower wall. And I really like how it looks. It's artsy-fartsy. It's uh, beautiful. I love it. I love it quite a bit. And here's some more storage. And there's a big old fan. I like big fans. There's a song that I like big something else, but I like big fans myself. And there it is, some storage. You can put your chemicals in there, you can put your colognes, you can put some towels, whatever you want to put in there, you can put in there. You can put some snacks. <laughs> Maybe you want to hide in the bathroom and have some snacks while your partner's in the other room say, hey, I'm having some snacks. So this, they give you a nice little towel, apparently. It says Airstream on it. I don't know if you buy this extra. Maybe they do charge you extra for that. It says Airstream right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This sort of uh, shocked me. A plastic <laughs> toilet on a $200,000 plus RV. Shocking. I would think they would have spent the extra 100 bucks and got you a porcelain one. Why not? And there's a spray nozzle. Again, it's plastic. Wow. That's out of kilter there. I had to fix that. I told the salesman that the thing was broken there, but it needs to be tightened up. So they have a porthole theme and throughout this uh, I thought I'd show you the glides that uh, the door that supports the doors. And here's a nice little tie shot so you can see the materials. So here's that ugly old dude. He's gonna try to uh, get this thing, uh, con the sofa converted to a bed. Again, I think this bed is 73 by 73. It's, it's square. And so that's a, uh, you know, It'd be tight sleeping for some of you folks out there. Let me get those uh, little cushions on the side. You have to get those cushions out of the way first. Let me just do that first. And then we'll get this bed down. On each side of the top of there, they have these little handles that you can push into lock or open to unlock. So there we go. I'm going to put it down now. Yeah, I'm going to lie down on it. I do not have any... Uh, I did take a bath before I went and slapped on that, so I'm, I am sanitary. And it is plastic coated for your, you know, plastic uh, covered for your health and safety, for your convenience. This is what you get back there. You get a little bit of storage. You get this beautiful window and more storage. Very nice. You got some lamps under there. And that little board back there flops down to give you some extra room. Very nice some plugs down here and USB plugs and also some controls. Same on the other side, except there on the other side you also get an extra bonus plug. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, you got USB and you get another plug there. Well, that's not a plug, that's actually another switch. You get two switches. The other side is only one switch. I do not know what the other switch does. I'll have to go back. So here's a shot of that window again. 
very, very nice. This mattress was uh, quite good. It's not a Tempur-Pedic or very high-end piece, but it's very nice. It has Froli uh, suspension under it, uh, you know, sort of like a inner springs. The action going on. I'm going to lock that, slam it, lock there. Now I'm going to put this chair back, the sofa back up. Even I can do this. If I can do this, anybody can. Again, I love that sofa. Very cushy. You have some seat belts there. So you and your, your partner, your husband, your wife can be in the front and then you can take the kids or the grandkids or your friends to the ball game, to the soccer match of the, you know, the children, or just to uh, hang out and go to the museum and they can all sit back here. So you can put three friends back here and two up front. So for a grand total, I think of five, isn't that right? Five. Let me put these uh, armrests back on. Yes, very nice. I can take a nap, didn't have to pull out the slide. Works perfectly for me. Again, the only problem I have is I don't have any money to spend on it unless I sold my house. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. I'd like to thank the folks at uh, Vought. RV centers in Fort Worth, Texas for being so nice to me, for allowing me to uh, examine this absolutely glorious 2019 Airstream Atlas. I absolutely love it. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.